Again, uh, Senator Norris. Thank you very much, Keirlich. Uh, in recent days, two significant figures have indicated their intention to withdraw from public life, Robert Mugabe and Gerry Adams. Now, I have to say one has to respect Gerry Adams for the way in which he uh, drew uh, provisional Sinn Féin away from the gun and violence, and in so doing, he had the very difficult task of facing down the hard men in his own group. Um, <clears throat> and it was therefore with some uh, surprise and sadness that I heard him refer to the late Martin McGuinness as a proud IRA man. There's nothing much to be proud of in the IRA's uh, record. And can I say to my friends in Sinn Féin in this house, they're among the best contributors to the debate in the Shannon. They're, they are quite remarkable. Very hard-working, very balanced, very left-wing, which I like. Um, and I think for them the future must be to distance themselves uh, from the gun. Now, they are clearly capable of change. I was sentenced to death uh, by the Sinn Féin, or uh, wherever they are, the, the provisional movement, uh, many years ago. I ignored it. I went round and I interviewed Mr. Joe Cal in their headquarters. Um, and uh, nothing happened, or at least if, if it did, as Brenda Behan said, they carried out the death sentence in absentia. Um, but they can change. They were violently homophobic 30, 40 years ago. They were terrible. And they have changed. They've become among the most prominent promoters of gay rights. And I, I salute them for this. So I would just say, you need in this new generation of leaders, whoever uh, takes over, whether it's... Beg your pardon? You going for the leadership? No, I wouldn't join Sinn Féin, but I would support, I would support the very positive contribution to public life in Ireland. I welcome it, and I think it is terrific. But I would just say, you need to disinfect yourselves from the violence of the past. I have to say, the, the Protestant side were just as bad, if not worse. But that must, that, that situation needs to be addressed. Thank you very much. Go on, sir, I start by thanking uh, my colleague, uh, Senator Norris, for his lovely remarks. But correcting the record, it was actually Alicia McCallion, the MP for Foyle, who referred to uh, Martin McGuinness as a proud IRA man. And we are proud of Martin McGuinness in his entirety, all of them. Um, and everything that he done uh, in his lifetime. Um, this building uh, depicts many a proud IRA man and woman hanging on the walls uh, of Lanster House. When we have a Finnegale T-shirt, when, when we have a when we have a Finnegale T-shirt, we have a proud IRA man in the T-shirt's office. When we have a Fiona Fall T-shirt, we have a proud IRA man hanging in the office. All right. So it's important to point out that the IRA left the stage in 2005. Thankfully, down to much of the work by Jerry Adams and Martin McGuinness. So we will, you should be ashamed we will of move on. Well, I'm not even remotely ashamed. I'm not even remotely Hello, ashamed. The leader, you will have an opportunity I, to respond. I, I, so. I'm merely making the point and highlighting the inconsistency and, indeed, the hypocrisy. We all know that because he told us. Well, of course. And we please. have to believe every Norris, word. Senator, Senator Norris. Well, of course, respect we're the chair. Allow Senator O'Donnell to make his contribution. Gurum, get, uh, Carly will, of course, and if it touches referring. raw nerves in some people, they should respect his right to contribute. Thank yeah. you, Carlock. But yesterday. Uh